18 of the fantasy baseball season, and here's a few pitches I look to drop this week. The first guy, Walker Bueller of the Los Angeles Dodgers. So Bueller hasn't been that good of a season for him before he went down with the injury and the news has come out. He's going to be out for the season now with elbow surgery. Here's Walker Bueller. So on the season, officially 65 innings, 6 and 3 record, a complete game shutout, 67 hits, 29 earned runs, 17 walks, 58 strikeouts, 3 quality starts, a 4.02 ERA. And a 1.29 whip, so Bueller hopefully he's back in time next season before the season starts here. But if it's Tommy John surgery, obviously he's out until 2024, where it takes a year and change to come back from that injury. And Bueller, he was a good pitcher the last few seasons here. But now that he's out for the season in redraft leagues, he's an easy drop this week. Still won't know in 77% of fantasy leagues. And even in dynasty or keeper leagues, if he's got to need Tommy John surgery... And not a basic elbow cleanup surgery. He's a guy that's definitely droppable in those leagues as well. So Walker Bueller, he'll bounce back, I think. I think he'll be good. He's on a good Dodger team, obviously. That could be World Series champions once again this season. But right now, with him obviously out for the season, it's a no-brainer to drop him this week. The next guy is Tariq Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. So another guy banged up with injury here, Skubal. And he's on the 60-day DL now, and he's going to visit a specialist is Skubal to see what the deal is with his elbow where he might need Tommy John surgery as well. So right now, not good news at all. He's most likely out for the season as well, I would say here, Skubal. And on the season, he got off to a great start, and then he fizzled out the last couple weeks. 117 and two-thirds, 7 and 8 record, 104 hits, 46 runs, 32 walks, 117 Ks, 10 quality starts, 3.52 ERA, and a 1.16 whips. And now with him being transferred, to the 60-day DL, it ensures he's out for the season here is Tyreek School. But it was a decent year for him, like I mentioned. By 21st at Oakland, six innings, got the win. Two hits, no runs, two walks, nine Ks, a quality start. July 27th versus the Padres, six innings, no decision. Three hits, no runs, three walks, two Ks, a quality start. And August 1st in Minnesota, five innings, no decision. Three hits, no runs, two walks, four Ks, so three games in a row. He wasn't giving up runs. So he started off hot on the season. Then he struggled. And then he got hot again here with Scooble. And now it's unfortunate he's hurt with the elbow injury. And there's no reason to hold on to him, obviously, with him being ruled out for the season. The next guy is Keegan Thompson of the Chicago Cubs. So Thompson, he's been erratic this season. A couple good games and then a few bad games. And when the games are really bad for him, he gets hit hard is Thompson, and he could ruin your week in some pitching categories. On the season, 102 thirds, 9 and 5 record, 94 hits, 41 runs, 34 walks, 88 Ks, 4 quality starts, a 3.67 ERA, and a 1.29 whip. But over the last couple weeks here, 7.30 ERA for Thompson with a 1.78 whip. So right here, he's been struggling over the last couple weeks here, Thompson. 12 and a third, 1 and 1 record, 17 hits. 10 runs, 5 walks, 6 Ks, a quality start with the 7.3 OERA, like I mentioned, and the 178 whip. So right now, he's on a Cub team that's going nowhere this season, even though I know the Cubs have won a little bit over the last few games, but they're versing weak teams as well. So the last few outings here, one good one, one bad one, August 8th versus Washington, 6 innings, got the win, 5 hits, a run, 3 Ks, a quality start. And then August 14th at a bad red team, 1 and 2 thirds in that one, 2 hits, 4 runs, Three walks, two K. So right here, it's a hit or miss type of thing for Keegan Thompson. He's still owned right now in 45% of fantasy leagues. But he's too inconsistent for me to have on my roster, especially if you're a team trying to make a playoff push and keep that ERA down and have a quality starter in there who could at least give you some decent innings and have damage control and not hurt you in ERA and whip. But Thompson, we've seen it. Some f- few great games. And then it goes the other way where he gets bombed and he hurts you big time in your fantasy league. So right here, you don't want to deal with that towards the end of the season. And it's better off cutting them loose and let someone else deal with the inconsistencies. The next guy is Andrew Heaney of the Los Angeles Dodgers. So Heaney, another guy that just can't stay healthy this season. Only 31 innings, 1-0 record, 21 hits, 4 runs, 10 walks, 42 Ks. A quality start at 1.16 ERA and a 1 whips. Obviously a small sample size. With only 31 innings on the season here. But Henny, this year, he was turning things around in the few starts we saw him here for this LA Dodger team. August 6th versus San Diego, four and two thirds, no decision in that one. 
four hits, no runs, and walk three Ks. And then August 13th, before he went down at Kansas City, three innings in that one. Three hits, two runs, five Ks. So right now, he's banged up. Is Henny with an arm injury? And it's only a contusion. So he's most likely going to make his next start here, is Henny. But he's just still a guy I just can't trust. Too much injuries. And too much in and out of the lineup here. And even in these outings, he's been going shorter as well. He's a 5-6 inning pitcher, is Henny. But right now, he's a guy that I just can't count on. A lot of injuries this season. And the last couple years, he's been pretty bad, except this year. I know he's been decent with the Dodgers, but it's a small sample size. So I would drop him this week. And fantasy owners have dropped him in 6% of fantasy leagues. And the final pitch, final pitch I look to drop here is Taylor Rogers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Ever since he got traded to the Brewers, it's been more of a struggle for Rogers than it was even with the Padres on the season. 45 innings, 1-6 record, 28 saves, 43 hits, 25 runs, 11 walks, 55 Ks, 7 blown saves, 5 ERA and a 1.20 whip. But over the last few weeks here, he's been pretty bad as Rogers, even worse than he is, 3 and 2 thirds. 0-1 record, 5 runs, 2 walks, 7 Ks, a 9.72 ERA, and a 2.04 whip. So right here, not getting the job done right now is Taylor Rogers. He's definitely struggling here. And this season, he got off to a hot start as the closer over there in San Diego. And then obviously flipped in the Josh Hader deal towards the MLB trade deadline. So right now, while he's struggling and he's hurting ERAs and not getting saves or the job done here, there's no reason to hold on to him. And this Milwaukee Brewer team, they haven't played great baseball either over the last couple weeks. They've been a mediocre team at best. So right now, with his struggles in the Brewers, not getting a lot of save opportunities for him as well, I think this is a time to drop Rodgers, and he's been dropped in 3% of fantasy weeks. That's a few pitches I would look to drop here in week 18 of the fantasy baseball season.